There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Y'all already know we about to do this wig video. I know I am really colorful today. You guys know I love like some graphic tees. That'd be like my, my favorite. Like I always come on here with like a t-shirt. I mean like seriously, who wants to be all dressed up when you only gonna see like the waist up? But listen, I went to Burlington with my mom when she was here and they had like so many cool t-shirts. Graphic tees, you know what I'm saying? Printed tees. I'm not like the hugest fan of Burlington for clothing because I just don't really care for those particular stores where you gotta rummage through stuff and then you find one thing that you really like and that is not in your size so you go rummaging through everything else because you're hoping to find that one particular shirt, pants, dress, whatever and you just don't find it. I really don't like to be let down like that so I just go for the home good stuff. Like it don't matter if it's Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Ross, Burlington. Those are the type of stores that I just really go for the home goods. But girl, I was in there and I just said, let me just check this out. Let me just see what they got. Walked out with like six t-shirts. Your girl is hooked now. I hope you guys are having like an amazing day. Joe Talk is back. So you guys better make sure to check that. Um, other than that, I got me a new tooth. Yes, girl, I got a new tooth. Mm -hmm. Um, life is good, living my best life, you know. But yeah, this is the first time I've ever worked with this company. I'm not really even sure how to pronounce the name. I'm hoping that it is Kalea. Girl, you know you are wrong with that one. Uh, Kalea? Look, I don't really know, but I did attempt to swoop some baby hairs on the canvas block mannequin head as I was styling it. And then after I did this, like on two other wigs that I styled, I realized, April, you want to have to lift all of that up and cut the lace off. Trying to follow suit and look at other YouTube videos and see what other people do. I don't think this is going to work out in my favor. This is what the wig look like right now. I was trying to do like some really cool baby hairs. I was arrogant Tay inspired with the baby hairs, but um, I should have not sculpted them on the mannequin. We just gonna see how this work out, y'all. Like seriously. You know, we just gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna see what it do. Hopefully it'll work out. This is a middle part again. Another middle part. Girl, let's hope that this middle part work out. Okay? Yes. If I can't have you, I don't want you to have anyone. And if you don't want me, there's something wrong with them, right? Maybe I got problems that I don't tell anyone. Have I lost my perception? Feel like I want to do something wrong now. Packing all your belongings. Say you want to take some time. But if you say we'll meet again, why'd you have to take everything now? Baby, are you lying? Have you met someone? All right, guys, so let's just hurry up and do this. The important thing, the first thing you just definitely need to do is make sure that your hairline is clean from any type of makeup or residue or oils. 
girl, I did my whole face. And then every time I do my whole face, I have to do a wig video. So I have to take some of it off. But anyway, this is what the inside of the cap looks like. I did bleach it. I used a 30 volume developer. Along with that, I kept it on for like almost an hour. Um, and I did also use the purple shimmer light shampoo just to get any brassy tones out of the actual uh, frontal portion of it. It does advise you to leave it on for five minutes. What I'm talking about is the actual purple shampoo, but I'll leave it on for like two to three hours because it really will lift it. And this is what I was talking about. I had to sculpt the baby hairs on the mannequin head. And then this is what I had to go through. Not too hard to cut off, you know. Yeah, I did cut a couple of little hairs, but those didn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? But um, the wig fits good. It is a little bit big on the sides, meaning it's over flapping my ear. So that's the reason why I'm cutting it right here on the sides. So that way it could fit properly, girl. And look, every little piece of lace you want to make sure that you cut off, hunties. Okay. Now, the one thing that I was kind of like, I wasn't bummed, but I could have left the um, the bleach on a little bit longer, but I didn't. So, you know, it still came out nice, though. And definitely repeat that same technique on the opposite side, which is cutting the lace off, girl. Because you don't really want to go outside with one piece lace and one no lace, okay? Now, I'm going to use this got to be instant hold. I started noticing that it just kind of leaves like a white flaky residue if you spray a tad bit too much or just even in general. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. Yeah, it does instantly hold. It holds down good. But don't they all like I really honestly am starting to feel like the Glam Forest got to be and the one in the yellow can. It's all the same thing. They just slap a different label on it and call it something else and then have everybody running out there going to get it okay but it did kind of leave like it does leave like a little flakiness but the hold is just like the glam force one so you know i'm not like a big fan of flakiness and i'm just going to use the back of my comb or the tip of my comb just to press down into the lace the lace is pretty decent the one thing i do like about using hairspray for my wigs is this right here you know when you put too much on you could just easily wipe away with it versus glue it's a that's a mess i just really don't like to use the glue and i don't like to use the gel method so you guys i sculpted the hell out of these baby hairs you know what i'm saying i was very inspired by arrogant tay and unfortunately i should have sculpted them on myself versus the mannequin head but i still had to sculpt them on myself but yes i was very inspired and unfortunately it did not end up being a middle part this was supposed to be a middle part but i guess um yeah april needs to wear her glasses or kind of like do measurements a lot better because on the mannequin head it did look like it was a middle but you know i think the style looks kind of cute it's like a a slant middle a slant -o, a slittle i don't know whatever but yeah you guys <laughs> um we just gonna finish the rest of this video and i will let you listen to some music while you see me styling and definitely profiling but you can check out the information in the box below because i'm pretty sure you guys will want to check out the website the wig is pretty decent girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there Everything reminds me of you, I can't take no more Girl, I think I'm losing my mind Try to go to work, but I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you, I can't take no more I miss your touch from your hands and your body It hurts so much to think of you as someone else Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms on me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. All right, you guys, I think it came out really nice. The lace wasn't like transparent or HD, not to my knowledge, but I mean, like, girl, look, I worked as a Debbie Downer, like, girl, listen. I really be aiming for a middle part on the canvas block mannequin head, as you've seen. It really did look like a middle part on her. However, when it came on me, it's kind of like a slanted, it's not kind of, it definitely is a slanted part. And I really wanted to do a middle part, but then I started looking at it and I was like, this kind of look cute and different. Okay, we're gonna rock with this because it's kind of like middle, but not really too much middle, you know what I mean? So it doesn't like really prolong or elongate. Longate. Yes, that's that's the word, girl, longate. Listen. You know, like I have a longer head, so I have enough forehead space, all of this to work with. Like, girl, I make me a new hairline every single time. 
Yes, me too. But anyway, the hair is really pretty. It's affordable. Like, you're not gonna see Beyonce, Rihanna, Meg, The Stallion, Cardi B. You're not gonna see none of them wearing this. If you are on a budget, girl, then you can definitely check them out. I did order this stuff in the mail. Well, I ordered this stuff. Hopefully, I'll get it in the mail soon. And it's supposed to be like a wax. So if you didn't bleach or if you bleach, but it's not that best, it will make it look like scalpage. I've seen videos of it. I figured I'd try it out. I think I paid $20, $20 for it. I'm looking forward to using it because I did bleach a wig and I'm not about to re-bleach it. But anyway, so the hair is very long. It's luscious, you know. It is more or less like a medium luster, so it's not so shiny. The one thing that was driving me a little bit crazy, though, was those damn flyaways on the top. Now, normally I would use a wax stick, but I only use that when I'm hot combing the hair because if you notice when you use a wax stick, it kind of gives it like this filmy kind of texture, especially with like sleek straight hair. So I've tried not to use it as much. I'll just rather use hairspray and brush it in or some styling mousse. For the most part, it turned out great. You know, I did like this, but I started noticing that it started getting kind of like white, dry, flaky, like patchy kind of like. So I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I do know that the, the original one that I used in the pink can, it's a lot better to me in my preference than this right. one. Easy fit, comfortable. I forgot to put me in an elastic uh, band, but you know, didn't even need one. This is like some really nice hair, okay? Like, I think I did a good, good job on the part. Like, even though it was supposed to be straight, middle, I think I did like a really awesome job. So on that note, I got to go, but I will leave you guys with a little note. Make sure you check out Real Talk. I love you all. The information will be down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share the damn video, like seriously. Um, put a bunch of loves, um, kissy faces, heart eyes, you know, I'm just saying.